So you've got dry, itchy, and flaky, cracked skin. Maybe it's on your heels, maybe it's on your forefoot, a little bit down there. And you want it to turn from this to this, or even better. Well, here's what's going on. There's usually two types of problems that are causing you to have really dry, cracked, itchy, and flaky skin. Most people automatically think athlete's foot and foot fungus, but the odds probably aren't the highest. It's about, it generally, I'm just tossing out a number here, about 70 to 30%. So, and, and both are grouped together and both have relatively different treatments. What I'm going to focus on is the most common reason, which is 70% that are just dry skin due to inflammatory conditions or associated dishydrotic, which means uh, water imbalance, drying. And these problems can be psoriasis, this is very severe, eczema, which is kind of an itchy, puffy skin, contact dermatitis, kind of an irritation by your socks, your shoes, or maybe your work conditions, al allergy, and many, many more. Now, the other thing, tinea pedis is just another, the medical name for chronic foot fungus, and that's about 30% of cases. What I'm going to advocate here is, if you have chronic foot fungus, you've probably had it for a long time, so trying out a different treatment for about a week and seeing if it gets better in this 70% range shouldn't hurt you too much. So, if, if you have like one foot or if the entire foot's enveloped, then maybe you're, and it's itchy and red, think more tinea pedis, but if it's just thick, dry skin, such as right here, think the dry skin or inflammatories. And obviously, if you have big problems, go see your podiatrist. But other problems you may have is a corn or a callus. Just keep in mind, those are other things that exist. So what I'm going to start with First, start moisturizing these things. Before you go to bed at night, use some petroleum jelly, uh, any type of moisturizing cream, the aloe veras, everything out there. Nothing specific. They all work great. Any moisturizing creams. Get them in at night and let them soak in. And start doing this every night and put some socks on. You can also mix this in. Take 15 to 30 minute Epsom bath salts where you're watching some TV. Then moisturize before you go to bed. And then use a pumice stone to take down that hard skin. And for most people, this is enough because you don't really have oil secretion glands in your feet. You have a lot more sweat glands and it's always trapped in cotton socks. And if you moisturize and debreed, you're gonna have great looking feet. But if you do have cracks and some bleeding, use a topical antibiotic at all, also like Neosporin or a triple antibiotic formula that helps greatly and if you're having pain use some anti-inflammatories for the eczemas that kind of thing that'll help them a little bit and also get your hands on some hydrocortisone they have some very cheap formulations at any convenience or not convenience store pharmacy i should say and you rub this on very quickly it goes away and now if the hydrocortisone makes it worse because I have to say the hydrocortisone is kind of an anti-immune system, so it helps for that 70% I mentioned, the inflammatory disorders, but can make fungus a little bit worse. So if you notice it itching a little bit more, getting a little bit more red, then you know that you most likely have fungus. So we just went over a few of these things, debriding, anti-inflammatory, soaking, moisturizing. If you have corns and calluses, you can use some foot pads, but beyond that, if you think you do have foot fungus, come to DetroitFootPain.com, the link's underneath this, and go to Skin Conditions, and there's a full guide for the other 30%, the fungus. But if you feel like things are getting bad, don't listen to a guy on the internet. Always go see your doctor. You should always trust them over me. Good luck. Do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.